I'm Dee Collins. I'm the Temporary Chief Constable here at West Yorkshire Police. Just before one o'clock today, Joe Cox, MP for Batley and Spenborough, was attacked in Market Street, Bristol. I am now very sad to have to report that she has died as a result of her injuries. Before going into further detail, I would like to express our deepest sympathies to her family and friends at this tragic time. Jo was attacked by a man who inflicted serious and sadly ultimately fatal injuries. Subsequently, there was a further attack on a 77-year-old man nearby who has sustained injuries that are non-life-threatening. Shortly afterwards, a man was arrested nearby by local uniformed police officers. Weapons, including a firearm, have also been recovered. At 1.48pm, Jo Cox was pronounced deceased by a doctor who was working with a paramedic crew that were attending to her serious injuries. This is a very significant investigation with large numbers of witnesses that have been spoken to by police at this time. There is a large and significant crime scene and then there is a large police presence in the area. A full investigation is underway to establish the motive for this attack. There are specifically trained officers with Joe's immediate family who are fully aware of what has taken place and we would ask the media to respect their privacy at this very difficult time. Additional officers are working in the local community this afternoon and evening in order to provide reassurance and support to our communities. Clearly, as this inquiry is at a very early stage and we have an individual under arrest, we are not in a position to discuss any motive at this time. We are not looking for anyone else in connection with this incident at present. I'm Mark Burns-Williamson, the Police and Crime Commissioner for West Yorkshire. My thoughts and prayers are with Joe's family at this time. I've worked closely with Joe since, since she was elected and I'm deeply shocked that such a talented young woman has been so senselessly attacked and killed whilst working in her constituency and serving her community. This is a truly shocking incident, but I want to try and reassure communities that our information is that this is a localised incident, albeit one that has a much wider impact. I must stress that investigations are ongoing and a man has been arrested, and we need to let the police do their job in understanding exactly what has happened that's led to this hugely tragic incident and channel all of our thoughts into supporting the families and communities affected at this time. Thank you.